Hello everyone, today I want to show you how to find the name of the target on site. If you don't know the target names, but you can see only two known targets, how you can find out the other target names. Okay, today I have my assistant with me, so the instrument is level over here instrument is level over here as well put the light up okay this is level so if we go back to setup I'm on the control folder we go setup okay resection okay we put one Okay, okay, then we are going to measure the first known target. Okay, show over here from the middle which will be BJ4 okay anyway BJ4 so we tape here BJ4 okay and we click ah uh, one second it will be BJ3 B J3 is the left one, so we go measure, and the one next to it is BJ4. These are the only two we know, so we go to the next one. Okay, we measure BJ4, measure. So now, if target 1 and 2 that we know are correct, the instrument's gonna turn and then we can click calculate. Then we go ta uh, targets uh, quality to see if the two targets are correct. They are correct because the resection is good. Then we go 3D viewer. Okay, so now on this screen we want to know target up there on this building top left corner and top right corner we have two targets so for example we want to know the top left corner so we position the instrument facing the target and we put and then we put the target the instrument straight facing the target so in here on the controller on the controller we have our two targets that we measure BJ3 and BJ4 and because the instrument know its position it's orientated so then we can face it towards our third target that we don't know the name then we zoom it and then we see that this point that we're facing the instrument is B73 no other points along the same line this one is not on the same line and there's no other point so that's the one that we need we zoom it with this key B73 so to check if that's correct B73 go back and we put B73 then before we click OK we can turn the instrument slightly and then if this is the correct name to the target when we click OK the instrument is going to turn so let's click let's check inside Uh, 
Okay, so that's our one. So it needs a slight adjustment. But that way we can see our target on the 3D viewer and then up here B73. So for example if you want to face a different target, just for the example, we can turn to targets over this way. Okay, on the flat here. Let me show over here. So up there, up there on the flat top right corner we have a target. I'm gonna show you here, you can see. Okay, so we don't know the name of that target. So we go on the controller again. Now as you can see it's facing different direction. And we see along the line where the instrument's facing we start zooming. Just to see our target. So we have two targets on the way. That's a good example. So we have V2 and FL4. So to check which one is the correct one, we can put FL4. We go back, so we put FL4. And when we click OK, I'm going to turn again the instrument a little bit out. So when we click OK, it should be turning to FL4 and then we're gonna see if the FL4 target is the correct one one second FL4 that's our one so let's see if the other one was V2 so if we go calculate 3D viewer and let's try to see the other one which was V2 just for the exercise so we go back click V2 and I'll turn it again so when we click OK and then we see where it shows V2 so let's see now where is uh, V2 if that's the correct one which we are looking at so V2 is pointing into into the fence so that's not our one So the one that we need is FL4. So then we go back again. We click here. FL4. FL4. We click OK. Then it's facing the correct target. Then we can measure, calculate and complete our setup. And that's the way how we can find out the name of the targets on site if we know two of them only. Enjoy.